Okay, looking up here. Yesterday we talked about writing very big numbers using scientific notation. Today we're going to talk about how we write small numbers in scientific notation. And here's the rule for you. To write a number less than one in scientific notation, you move the decimal point right and use a negative exponent. So here we go. Uh, first example here, we have a number that's written in standard notation and we want to write it into scientific notation. It says a butterfly weighs 0 0.00007 ounces. Write this number in scientific notation. Again, if you go up to your rule, it tells us to move the decimal point to the right. And if you remember from yesterday, scientific notation is always written as a product of two factors. The first factor has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So where would we move the decimal to come up with a number that's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10? Hopefully you're saying behind the 7. That's where it has to go. So we would have 7.0 and our second factor is always a power of 10 times 10 to the which power? Well, and notice we moved our decimal one, two, three, four, five places to the right. So it's 10 to the negative 5. That is how you would write this number in scientific notation. Okay, and it works the opposite way too. If we want to take a number that's written in scientific notation and write it in standard notation, we're going to do the um, same thing. Remember, we have a spider that weighs 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth pounds. Write this number in standard notation. Now remember, when you see a negative exponent, you know that you're dealing with a number that's less than 1. So we're going to need to move this decimal point to the left, not to the right, because that would give us 16,000 or 160,000 if we were to go this way. So we're moving our decimal five places to the left. When we move it one place, we're going to run out of room, so we need to add four zeros as placeholders. So we would have four zeros and a one six. Good form says we put another zero there. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, sixteen millionths of a pound is how much that spider weighs. Okay, guys. Not too difficult, but you got to practice. So I want you to get into your workbooks and practice the problems that we got for you where you're writing very small numbers in scientific notation. Get started.